Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Monday, October 30th. So had a good week, busy week with work, but still got a good chunk of diamond painting and stitching in, as you will see in a little bit. So I have a lot to share with you today. I have a diamond painting unboxing, a new little tool I bought for diamond painting, which we're going to try out. I haven't tried it out yet. But first, let me get to the giveaway for the Diamond Art Club Spooky Doll Kit. So Arlene Mensner is the winner. I've already been in touch with Arlene via email, and the kit is being mailed to her today. So congratulations, Arlene, and thank you to everyone who entered. That kit is cute, but I realized once I had unboxed it, I was like, hmm. I probably really wouldn't do that one. And I was so very grateful for Diamond Art Club sending me that um, to unbox and sneak peek for you guys. Actually, I think it was a first look because it didn't get here on time. But anyway, and I do have some sneak peeks over the month of November to show you guys from Diamond Art Club. So that's very exciting because they're all. Yeah, we love Hannah Lynn. Okay, questions I got this week. Someone asked me, do I get small cracks in my mesh ruler? And I haven't noticed any, but in the peeling up of it after each section, I can see how you could possibly do that. And another friend of mine who also uses a mesh ruler, um, she says she has trouble with it sticking down after a while. And she's right. I have the same problem. What I do, I just hold it with my hand because I love the tool so much. It literally saves me so much time in diamond painting where I'm not stopping to straighten every single diamond that I put down. I'm just, especially in a block of color, go, 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 go. As you will see here in a minute, because I finished the diamond painting yesterday. Oh, yes, I did. Okay. So the second question was someone asked where I got my turquoise cart. And I know you can't see it, let me flip you around so I can show This was from Ikea. It is the, like the original Ikea cart. And I got the top from it on eBay. eBay, nope, Etsy. The top of it is from Etsy and it came unfinished and Bill painted it turquoise to match the cart for me. And I absolutely love it. And I have the cover for those on both of my carts that I have. The cart I want to say was $40 when I bought it. And the top of it was like 25 from Etsy, but um, yeah, well worth it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then the last question I had was this person said they bought a couple sheets of 14 count perforated paper to do Christmas. And they said baubles which I'm guessing means Christmas ornaments. And they didn't realize how big it was going to be because they're used to stitching on 25 count. And I guess they mean 25 count one over one because if you do two over two on 25 count, it's essentially like 12 and a half count. So it would be even bigger than 14 count. And they said, do I have any recommendations for ornament patterns? And I suggested to them, Lizzie Kate, but I also suggested to them, you know, do a search on Google for cross stitch ornament patterns or even Etsy. Etsy is a wonderful resource for a lot of cross stitch patterns. And I'm sure you will be able to find some stuff on there. Okay, movies and TV this week. I have been watching Inventing Anna and I'm on episode five and I just haven't felt like watching any more of it. I actually have been watching some movies I've already seen on the Tubi app. I watched Derailed with Clive Owen and Jennifer Aniston. Absolutely love that movie. I've seen it a couple times. I watched Wall Street, which is one of my favorite movies of all time with Charlie Sheen, Michael Douglas, Daryl Hannah. I mean, this is an old movie. Really, really good. And then yesterday I watched another oldie but goodie, Suspect with Cher, believe it or not, she's the star of the movie and Dennis Quaid. It's so good. It's a, it's a murder mystery set in a courtroom. It's very, very good. 
And then I watched a movie recommended by my friend Becky on Netflix, and it is a fairly new one to Netflix called No Hard Feelings. And it was, I want to say somewhat of a lighthearted movie, but it it had a life lesson in it that, you know, you need to just be who you are and embrace it. Yeah. Loved, loved all that stuff. Books. I started reading and it's so good. Um, Lane Fargo. Remember the last book I read was by Lane Fargo. And this person only has two books out. And the first one they wrote was called Temper. And so I started reading that. Um, this is told in the perspective of two women, Kira and Joanna. And Kira is starring in a play that is being put on by Joanna and a gentleman. And there's a lot of tension. And they said it is like Black Swan, sort of. You've never seen that movie with Natalie Portman. Oh my, my. Very, very good. This has a simmering tension and the chapters are short enough that it's like, you just want to say one more, one more, one more. And I'm already, I just started reading it yesterday and I'm already like a hundred pages in out of 300 pages. So I feel like I will be reading this book very quickly. I'll be reading it on breaks and things like that. So highly recommend. Very, very good. All right. Purchases. So first we're going to do, we're going to switch it up and we're going to do the finishes and whips first because yeah, let's do the cross stitch first. I am so very close to finishing the cross stitch piece, which is Primrose Cottage Stitches Autumn Alphabet. And I'm stitching mine on Amazing Gray Perforated Paper. And when I say I'm almost done, I didn't stitch. I haven't stitched in the last couple of days. I got quite a bit done there, right? Yeah. I only have two pumpkins here to stitch and I'm done. So looking forward to having that done this week. And then moving on to the next one I'm going to stitch is this one, which is I love fall most of all. I already have all the thread and the finishing kit. And I decided, you know, this looks like it should be stitched on amazing gray paper as well. And that would kind of go along with it. But I think, and I'm still on the fence. I think I'm going to stitch it on this, which is cantaloupe. Um, I think the colors will look really good on it and will pop. And it's kind of fall-like, so I kind of wanted to, to do that. I actually picked out colors of paper for my next couple projects, at least I think. We'll see. But yeah, I definitely want to stitch that fall one next from them. So. Love their pattern so very much. I'm trying to see where I can move this stuff. Okay. And then the biggest piece of news is that I finished the diamond painting, Queen of the Snow Fairies. So if you remember, this is what it looked like. And yeah, I was gangbusters the last two days. Bill went fishing all day Saturday, so I had a good chunk of time. And then yesterday too, that was one reason why I decided to not do my video yesterday is I wanted to finish the diamond painting. So without further ado, well, I love her hair. I mean, we know I'm a hair person, right? So love all the ABs in her hair. I think this turned out so magnificent. I'm so, so very happy with it. And I feel like it didn't take me too long. Like, I feel like I did this one pretty quickly. And I absolutely love it. Love it so very much. Her hair is my favorite. I mean, I mean, look at the ABs in it. You can say, yeah, love, 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 love. So now, and I can lay this on the floor right there, I guess. I need to hang that up because Bill and I need to do the frame for it. So I think we might go this weekend, maybe. I told him it's not, not in a hurry, you know, no big deal. Okay. And then I actually was able to kit up Poinsettia Pixie from Hannah Lynn because that's my next one. And let me tell you, the credenza makes it so easy to kit down and kit up because when I kit down, let me show you, see this right here? I put my diamonds in there and let me grab it. 
So this was a shadow box that I got off of Etsy and one of my subscribers made me the decal for it for free. And so it has, I like it because it has this on the side where you just open it up and I've been pouring all of my diamonds in it. So I'm hoping to, you know, eventually you can see me in there. I'm hoping to eventually fill it up. And it came in this lavender color. They had a bunch of different colors. The box was like 40 bucks. It wasn't cheap, but I love it. And the decal fit perfectly and all of that. And then kitting up. So I was able to finish the diamond painting yesterday, kit it down, and then kit up the new one. And it only took me 15, 20 minutes, maybe. I mean, it's just a matter of pouring the diamonds in the trays so very quick. That credenza is probably, besides the new desk that I have, probably the best purchase I've ever made for diamond painting, for sure. But um, Nareda sent me a reel from Bella de Art Nicole. She has a new product, and I'm going to show you what it is. Looks like this. Now, you're like, what the hell is that, right? What this does is it will hold your diamond painting under your table, meaning it will hold the excess that you haven't done yet. If you remember how I normally do that is I would roll it up, the unused portion, and then I would clip it. And as I moved it, I would just unclip and, and I, I just hate that way. I hate it. So when I saw this, I was sold because what you do is you clip this, you know, you unscrew this and you put it on either side of your, wherever you're diamond painting, and then you roll up your diamond painting and it'll set in here. So we're gonna try this out because I have the, the poinsettia pixie on there and I haven't tried this out yet. So I'm gonna try to position my camera on top of the Ikea cart and get the angle so you can see me trying it out. And we're going to talk about the long mesh ruler because that came in and I wound up getting a new light pad and whole bunch of stuff. So let me pause and then I'll be right back. Okay, I hope I have a good angle to show you guys this. So this is poinsettia pixie. Once I get this on there, we will talk about the light pad, the mesh ruler, all of that. So what you're supposed to do, I watched her reel because she did a reel on Instagram showing how she did it. You're supposed to put it, see how I'm putting it like this part. Underneath my desk. And then I'm, you know, screwing it so it tightens up on my desk. And I feel like you don't want to over tighten it because it is 3D printed. And then I didn't unscrew that one enough. Now she also had a whole bunch of colors. So of course I had to get pink. I almost got aqua. I almost got that. So we're going to see. And this little doodad was one of the reasons why I bought a, a different light pad, which I will talk about that in a second. Okay. What she did, because remember I'm using the clear cover. I know, right? She rolled it up this way. And you're going to have to bear with me. Like I said, this is the first time ever doing this. I feel like I need to roll it tighter. Let me try to. I was going to try to do it because it's so opposite of how I normally roll it. I feel like you want to roll it kind of tight. Okay. And what you're supposed to be able to do, hmm, is she just... trying to feel it like underneath there. She, she just set hers in there. I feel like I need to roll it tighter. Like it needs to be, it needs to be a loop that's going to fit 
in that in that section. Maybe I need to roll it, fit it in there, and then put it in there. Okay, what I did, here's what I did. Can you see how I just put it in there like that? Ooh, it did stay. I feel like I need to roll it more though because I want that flat. She made her, she made it look very easy when she did it. I mean, she's the inventor. So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna like try to roll it up. Like I said, I feel like I need to roll it a lot tighter than it is because I feel like it it needs to be rolled really tight. And I mean, once you get it in there, I feel like it's going to be Ooh, that worked. Okay, it, it fits very nicely in. Let's see, it wants to unroll. Maybe I still need to clip it. Under, you know, underneath. Trying to do this with one hand, right? Okay. Okay, no, that worked. Okay, so I would suggest doing what I just did. I mean, that looks really good. Cause see what was happening when I was rolling it the other way and clipping it, I would be leaning on it, flattening it. And it also would get lint all over. Not that it matters on the back of the canvas. Ooh, I love it. I love it. It just takes a minute to get used to working it. And actually, I could even scoot this one in to hold it even better. I could scoot this one in more. Well worth it. Love, 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 love. 10 stars, five stars. Okay, so let's talk about the light pad, and I'm going to talk about it while I'm sitting here because it's easy for me to do that. I know you can't see my face. So I got, when I got this, I realized that I needed something where I needed a light pad. Wait a minute, this is too weird. I can't. Okay. I needed a light pad where I didn't have to move my diamond painting around on it only because you, if it's in this, you're not going to be able to move it. You know, what I was doing was, especially for like the purple one I just did, I had an A3 light pad from Diamond Art Club. And what I would do is I would start here and then I would move it as I, because of the light pad was not big enough to hold the entire diamond painting. And I looked at the diamond paintings I have and they all will fit on this. Now, if you have like a really big diamond painting, something like rainbow flower power or something like that, you might need to get an A1 light pad. An A1 light pad is bigger than this, so I couldn't get it. Because remember, these are adjustable. You can have them out as far as you need, but for me, it needed to fit obviously on my workspace. So I will not now have to move my diamond painting. I just move my chair depending on what section I'm at, which is also going to be awesome because I like not having to move it. If you notice, this is an art dot light pad. This is an A2. They were having a special. I got it for $50. It was normally like 80 and I got it on um, Amazon over the weekend. So this is also from Bella de Art Nicole, the um, light pad. It's like a button protector. So when you touch it, you know, you not accidentally turning off the light pad. So I just peeled that off my old light pad and put it down with glue dots. And then I used to remember on the diamond art club, art pad light pad, I had magnets on the side and would use needle minders to hold my diamond painting. I'm not doing that this time. I'm, I'm totally doing it different. I just have washi tape here. Washi tape comes up very easily. So I'm just going to be taping it 
to hold it on here. So the mesh ruler, this is, and I'm gonna need to move you guys. So let me, this is the longer mesh ruler, size 140. Size 140 for me seems to be the size that is good. I used this on the last two sections of Queen of the Snow Fairies. It works magnificent. Absolutely love it. You can see how I have it ready to go. I will link it down below. I got it from Drill Pen Frenzy Donnie Shop. And yeah, just going to use that and do it this way. Now, this is also diamond painting a different way than I'm used to because if you remember, my other ruler was probably this wide. So I was doing sections of that. So it's going to be doing longer sections, which I'm perfectly fine with. And I am actually, because I have this now for holding it, I'm gonna try to just roll down the plastic sheet and not use any release papers. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. But yeah, I'm so excited. Here is the image of Poinsettia Pixie, 45 colors. All the colors are in the credenza. Love, 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 love. Can't wait. There are three AB diamonds in this. And oh, and there's a, the black is glow in the dark. Can't wait to see what that looks like. Because you can see the black. It outlines her hair, her eyes, all the poinsettias. So, so beautiful. Cannot wait to start this one. But yeah, so there was that doodad. Love it. it. It's going to be, it's a game changer for sure, at least for me, as far as not um, having to have clips and all of that. And you know me, I love gadgets. So, but yeah, I'm going to flip you guys around because I still have some purchases to show you and a Diamond Art Club unboxing. So let me flip you around. Okay. So I'm going to pause so I can put my cart back and all of that. I'll be right back. Okay, before we get to the diamond painting unboxing, I thought I would show you some purchases I made this week that weren't cross-stitch or diamond painting related, but just things that I really loved. Oh, and before I, let me show you Bella de Art Nicole's information. I will link it down below though. Jamie and Nicole. So here is her info website. Yeah. Okay. I purchased some new color street and I decided that I wanted to try some solid colors instead of the glitter all the time because the glitter can be a pain in the ass to get off of your nails. So this one I got, it's called New York Minute. It's more like a shimmer almost, but I love the purple, the burgundy for, you know, fall. This one is glitter, but I loved it so much. It takes Tucson, it says. Love that one. Here's a solid. This one is Slate of Mine, so it's like a navy gray, sort of. And then this one is, I want to say a solid, called Royal Brocade. So it's like, there's a design on it. It's hard to tell. It's like, it's a dark blue with black design on it, so... Just, you know, I like the darker colors for fall. So I got those. And then I finally got my ColourPop uh, Aurora Struck palette in, and I'm actually wearing it today. You can see I did like a purpley. Absolutely love this palette. If, you're, if you want to have better makeup palette than drugstore, but don't want to spend a ton of money, ColourPop is it because this was $18, I think, which is fairly reasonable. So here are, here's what it looks like on the inside. Now, yesterday I wore these colors. I wore, I did this brown and then this green, and then I did this shimmer up here. It looks so good. Bill was even like, Ooh, that looks really good. Cause I have a set way that I like to do my eye makeup. What I will do is I will put a base color over the whole lid, which is usually a matte. Then I will do a darker matte in the corner and up on, on my brow bone. And then I will do a shimmer on the inside. So if you can see, I don't know if you, it's hard to see it because these colors blended pretty good. I used 
this color on the lid, this color in the corner, and then I did this for the shimmer. And then I actually even put this one a little bit on it. Really, really pretty colors. I mean, I have a palette that's matte, I mean, neutral. So I wanted colors and boy, this one fits the bill for sure. So absolutely love. ColourPop is, has very, very nice makeup. Okay, I did get the Just Cross Stitch December 2023 issue in the mail and Terry did a flip through on her channel. I have her channel linked down below, but I thought I would show you my favorite ones because they had a lot of really good patterns in this one. This one I like. This is by October House Fiber Arts and it's called Fresh Pear Sampler. I liked it, but what I really liked was the finishing because they stitched this on fabric. And so they framed it, but the, this is fabric in the background. And then they just fringed the edge of it and put it down there with double-sided tape. I mean, how much, how easier could that be for finishing? I love the simplicity of this. I actually really like that pattern too. So like I said, I like the finishing. Finishing is what really caught my eye on it. This one I loved, again, because of the simplicity of it. It only uses two colors, red and green. So you could pick any red and green that you wanted. This is by Wrought Iron Stitching. Don't you just love that? And you could actually do the hearts in a different color if you didn't want to do red. I absolutely just love the simplicity. This would be a comfort stitching pattern if you needed something to give your mind a break from something very complicated. So absolutely love that. And then I love this one and I'm probably going to do this one because I can use black perforated paper, which I don't find too many patterns where I can do it. This is an ornament and this is by Twisted Willow Designs. Silent Night, Holy Night. Now, the only thing, baby Jesus, the face, there are uh, fractional stitches. So mine would be, mine would look a little different. I wouldn't be doing the fractionals because you cannot do fractionals on perforated paper. But I loved the, just how simple that is. And I like that frame too. And then the final one, is this one. And again, I could do this. I have navy blue or midnight blue perforated paper. I love this so much. This would be one though, where you would, this is called Magical Snowflakes by Counting Puddles. <gasps> you would have to carry though the back stitch behind it. And I don't know that you would really see it because this is so amazing. That would take a minute. That would take a minute to do that. And it looks like it's a variegated thread, but it's not. You use like six different colors to do this. I was like, how amazing is that? I love that so much. So that would be an interesting little design to do. Okay. The last thing I have to talk to you about is, I'm like putting the magazine back is the diamond painting that I received from Diamond Art Club. Now I purchased this one. It is Starfish by Hannah Lynn. And why is that on, there we go. Starfish by Hannah Lynn. So it looks like this. This was released, not this past Saturday, the Saturday before, I think. So many of you had messaged me and said, OMG, did you see this one? Because hair, 90% of the piece is hair. Love it. Oh man. I, I was, it was a given. So this is round diamond shape 20 by 28. So let's take a peek. Now I don't have my iPad here to really tell you what's fairy dust, what's uh, iridescent. You know what I mean? What's um, all those special ones. I'll look at it and try to decipher it. There's the sticker, which I'm going to put on the box right now. I wish I would have been using these stickers from the get go because, and what I do is I put it on the side like that. So when I stack it, I can see what the diamond painting is without having to pull it out and look at it like that. So let's look at the toolkit first. Now the toolkit 
I don't really care about it. I am just looking for the cover minder and the washi tape to see what the different ones are. Ooh, I like the cover minder. It's cute. Now, what I do like too is they gave me a purple pen and a pen grip. And then it's the normal bags, the wax, the tray. Here is the cover minder, which is very nice and simple, and I love it. I don't have this one. So there's that. And the washi tape, I don't think I have this either. Love that. So both of those will be kept for sure. And then the diamond painting. So that's what we want to see, right? Because I, when I am, know I'm going to buy a diamond painting, I don't watch anyone else's unboxing because I want to be totally surprised. And I do not keep the plastic bag. Let's take a look at the diamonds first and the sticker, because that will tell us. Okay, so here's the bigger image. Oh, she's so gorgeous, my God. Okay, so it looks like there are three AB diamonds and two fairy dust. That's what it looks like. Maybe. I think that's what it looks like. Okay, I'm not gonna open these because you know my stance on that. There are a lot of those colors though because of her hair. A lot of colors of red and coral and all of that. So gorgeous though. Love, 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 love. And this will go of course in my binder. We are here to see the canvas, right? Yes, we are. So let me, I'm gonna, roll it backwards as I always do so I can kind of flatten it out to show you guys and we can ooh and ah over it. Do I have it upside down? No. <gasps> Look at the hair. Look at that and her face. I mean, I love the big faces and I love it love it so much. The starfish is a little cutie, isn't it? I would have been satisfied, honestly. I know the painting is called starfish, but to not even have the starfish, like just to have her, just have the starfish on her face, right? She got a little tattoo of it. Um, but the hair, I, I can't, I can't with it. I mean, look at that. This is my favorite part. The face, the eye makeup, the hair, look at all the bubbles, like it's so gorgeous. So let me back up so you can fully see it. Ah, man, that's gonna be something when it's done, for sure. Love, 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 love. And now I can't scoot my chair back up. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's all I have to show you. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I showed. I will link the mesh ruler, the thing I got from Bella to Art Nicole. I will even link this starfish uh, diamond painting. I don't know if it's sold out yet on Diamond Art Club. Most of the time they do get sold out, but you can always put your email in. They will notify you when it's back in stock. So I hope you guys all have a good week and a safe and happy Halloween. Halloween is on Tuesday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.